Here is our problem. Identify the congruent triangles from this figure below. So here we have four triangles. We have to identify the congruent triangles from here. For deciding whether the triangles are congruent or not, we have to apply a congruency rule. Does ASA helps us to decide whether the triangles are congruent or not? Well, for applying ASA, we should have the side included between the angles. And here we can see in first triangle, second triangle and fourth triangle, the side is not included between the angles. Only in the third triangle, the side is included between the angles. So we cannot apply ASA here. Can we do some changes here so that we can apply ASA? Well, yes. By making use of angle sum property, we can find the third angles in these triangles. If this is 30 degrees, this is 100 degrees. If we make this angle 50 degrees, then the sum becomes 180 degrees. Similarly, we can make this angle as 50 degrees here. This angle also 50 degrees. This angle also 50 degrees. Now, if we look at the first triangle and the fourth triangle, we can see ASA fits in for these two triangles. As 5 cm is the side here, and 5 cm is the side here and this side is between angles 50 degree and 100 degree here and here also this side is between angles 50 degree and 100 degrees so we can say that first triangle here this is triangle 1 is congruent to the fourth triangle here this is triangle 4 this can be triangle 2 and this can be triangle 3 so triangle 1 is congruent to triangle 4 by ASA. Now let's look at triangles 2 and 3. In triangles 2 and 3, we cannot say these are congruent because we can see here, in triangle 2, 5 cm is the included side between 50 degrees and 30 degrees. And here in triangle 3, 5 cm is the included side between 30 degree and 100 degree angles. So here we have 50 degree and 30 degree and here we have 30 degree and 100 degree. So in these two triangles, corresponding side 5 cm is not included between the same corresponding angles. So we cannot say that these two triangles are congruent by ASA. Now let's turn our attention to AAS. We have already understood that in triangles 1 and 4, 5 cm side is included between angles of 100 degree and 50 degrees. That is why this is the corresponding side. And in triangles 2 and 3, 5 cm side is included between 50 degree and 30 degree here and 30 degree and 100 degree here that is why 5 cm is not the corresponding side in these two. So we can say that triangles 1 and 4 are congruent by AAS rule also because this angle of 30 degrees is equal to this angle of 30 degrees and this angle of 100 degrees is equal to this angle of 100 degrees and 5 cm here and 5 cm here as we have discussed is the corresponding side. So we can say triangle 1 that is triangle ABC is congruent to triangle 4 that is XYZ by AAS rule also. But we cannot say triangles 2 and triangle 3 are congruent by AAS rule because 5 cm here and 5 cm here as discussed are not the corresponding sides in triangles 2 and 3. So these two triangles are not congruent by AAS rule. 
Important point to remember here is ASA can be used in place of AAS. For doing this, first find the third angle using angle sum property and then represent the corresponding sides as included sides. Blind use of AAS is not advisable. Before using AAS, we should confirm whether the side is corresponding or not. Let's summarize what we have learned here. We have learned that AAS rule is an extension of ASA rule. We should be careful AAS rule implies any two angles but not any one side. It should be the corresponding side. 